When you have a lot of data in your worksheet here and you want to be able to compare, in this case, my records, let's say Max Klinger, his salary to somebody down on row 50,000, well, instead of like scrolling back and forth, up and down, trying to compare between the two, what I can do is I can use the split feature. It'll split my screen in half, so I have a top half and a bottom half. Top half, I can keep it focused on these rows here, where I have Max Klinger. Down the bottom half, I can scroll down to row 55,000 or whatever and be able to compare between the two halves. To go ahead and apply the split feature, go ahead and click in any cell here where you want to split it. However, whatever cell you have selected, it's going to split it to the left and above. It'll add a split bar to the left of the cell, which will be a vertical split, so you have the left half and the right half, and then it'll add a horizontal bar above the cell, which will split it from the top half to the bottom. So before I split it, if I just want to split it, so I just have a top and bottom half, then I'm going to go ahead and strategically select the cell or the cell that's in the first column because when I split it in that cell, when it adds a vertical bar, is there anything to split from a left and right half when it's up against the edge here? No. But it will give me a horizontal bar because I do have rows above that. So go ahead and select the cell, come up here on the View tab, go to the Windows group, and then click on Split. It add the uh, horizontal split bar there, so I have my top half and bottom half. Okay. It's the same data. I mean, just go ahead and scroll in the top half, and you can see there's Harry, and there's Harry down below. So that way I can focus on Max, and in the bottom half here, go ahead and scroll all the way down to 55,000, and then be able to compare, well, since I'm here, let's say John Bauer, his salary against Max's, and I can say, oh, they're pretty close, uh, doing the same job. We'll leave it as is. Now, that's one way to go ahead and add your horizontal split bar to remove it. Let me go ahead and click on the split and it removes it. The other way is that if you come over here on the uh, vertical scroll bar, up at the top you've got that little teeny tiny, well it looks like a little dash, but when you hover over it, see how my uh, white cross turns into black arrows pointing in opposite directions up and down? That's the horizontal split. If you click and hold your left mouse button down and you drag down, it adds the split bar as well. So I got my top and bottom halves. That way I don't have to strategically, if I just want to do it by a top and a bottom, come over here and click in the uh, the farmost column, the A column, and then go ahead and click on the split button. I can just click and drag it down here, the split bar, and then when I'm done, another way to get rid of it besides clicking on the split button up here in the Windows group is you can just double click really fast on that split bar and it disappears. And of course it works for vertical splits as well. In other words, let me go ahead and scroll to the top. Again, whatever cell I have selected, it'll split it above it and to the left of it. So the top and bottom portions, left and right. But if I just want to split it vertically, not horizontally, then I want to click in the top row here. Well, I have had the cell that's merged, but in the top row, and then come up here on the View tab to the Windows group, click Split. And because that my cell is merged, then it's going to give me the four-way split because of the merged cell here. So if I go ahead and click Split again and click in another cell, and then go ahead and click Split, because the cell isn't merged with a bunch of other cells, like this one is, from A column down to the I column, it'll go ahead and give me the vertical bar. And that's okay if you split it over here and you meant to split it in the middle. You can still click and drag that split bar over, which is really nice. Let me go ahead and drag it over to the left, and you've got your left half and your right half. Of course, the data isn't showing up here because, let me just click and drag the horizontal scroll bar over that way. What's nice about this is that I can go ahead and keep the names here without having to look through a bunch of data and go right to their gross column. In fact, let me go ahead and go over one. There we go. Gross column. And then to remove that, I just double click really fast. Gets rid of it. Also to add it manually instead of strategic placement of your uh, selection on a cell being up at the top, I can just come down here and like we did up at the top by clicking and dragging over the vertical scroll bar, I can click and drag over the horizontal scroll bar at the very far right. When my white cross turns into arrows pointing in opposite directions, that's the uh, vertical split. Click and drag that and there's your split bar to add it. Okay. Let me go ahead and double click to remove it. Finally, if I want to go ahead and split it into four quadrants, I have my top and bottom left and right. Go ahead and click in any cell. I guess it doesn't really matter because you can always move those uh, split bars around. And like I said, whatever cell I have selected, it's going to add the split bar above it and to the left of it. Come up here, click it. It adds it. It doesn't matter because you can always click and drag those split bars over and down. So now I have four sections here. I have one, two, three, four, but actually it's top and bottom, left and right. So I can come up here 
and scroll down just a bit. Of course, it moves the top portion, and then I can scroll over to the right, moves that portion. So if you need to do some major comparisons between all your data, and you need to actually divide it up into, well, even though it's four quadrants, it's still um, the left and the right and the top and the bottom, then go ahead and click in any cell, and then click on the split button. Because then, like I said, you can click and drag and move them around, or double-click to get rid of one, double-click the other to get rid of both. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.